you were on ESPN yesterday with Mike Greenberg, and it sounded like if LeBron wins another title, you might elevate LeBron above Michael Jordan. You're open to that? I'm open to the discussion. Okay. You know, first of all, I think they got a lucky break having to play the Phoenix Suns. But if they can win three series, if, if he beats the Phoenix, uh, they beat Denver, and then they beat the Clippers, the caveat, to be honest, uh, Dan, is going to be if if they can beat the big three in Brooklyn. Now, I'm on, I'm telling you, I'm picking Milwaukee to win the East. Mm. I, I love what they've done with Drew Holiday and P.J. Tucker. But if LeBron can get win three series on the road and beat the big three in Brooklyn. Now, if he beats Philadelphia or Milwaukee, but if he beats those three guys in Brooklyn, I would be open to the discussion that he is. I would elevate him past Kobe, and then I would listen to the argument that he's in the conversation with Michael Jordan. I think that's only fair because this, to me, is gonna. You know, he's been out basically all season. Anthony Davis has been out basically all season. If they can win three series on the road and beat the Brooklyn Nets, I'm I'm open to the conversation that he's on Michael Jordan's level. But you don't even have him on Kobe's level. I don't. I got Kobe a little bit ahead of LeBron, just a little bit. Hmm. Uh, I do. But, you know, it's so funny when you have these arguments. Hey, listen, I'm not putting him ahead. Like when people be arguing, you're crazy, Charles Barkley. You're crazy. You got Kobe Bryant ahead of LeBron. I says, I don't have Papa Jones ahead of LeBron. I said, Kobe Bryant is one of the best to ever do it. And I love Popeye, but I'm telling you, like, you know, he's in that conversation, but man, I don't think the Lakers are going to win the championship, but if they're able to win a championship this year, I think you got to at least be open to the conversation.